No, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> like half underneath the seat. Mm-hmm. He ain't trying to lay on top of me. Yep, it's flashing red. It's flashing That's red. all I know. If it's flashing green, it's not. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here with Travis and Christy, right? With Freedom Farms. We've merged together to join our YouTube channels together to bring you more fun around the farm. Stick around because now I have to make calf or calf milk, lamb milk, and uh, it does not look as easy as it appears. So, pretty simple actually. I don't know, you got a lot of bottles here. Well, so this is their, their normal mixture is they get a cup of buttermilk. Okay. And then that's evaporated milk. They get a cup of that also. And then we pour the whole gallon of whole milk in here and mix it all together. But since this is actually week five of their life, they're going to start transitioning off the milk. So okay. they don't get, they'll get this full blend for the first week, or sorry, first four weeks. And then after that, we start to transition them off. And it's to encourage them to eat the creep feed, the hay, everything other than the milk. Okay. And so they'll get all this and then we're going to add a quart of water with it now and start watering it down. So all you'll do is you'll measure out, doesn't matter which one first, buttermilk or evaporated milk. You'll put eight ounces in there. That might be easy. Great. Well, at least I didn't bring it. That's it. Eight ounces? Yep. Okay. Or one cup. Same thing. So why do you use it this way instead of like... How oh, I did it last year with Sandy when they just brought me milk. So, replacer. yeah, the powdered replacer, we haven't had very good luck with it. We tend to have, the lambs usually get diarrhea from their scours. Yeah. And we we tried and compared them basically and went with this only and we went with the lamb milk only for the milk replacer, the powder. And it's never showed us anything other than them getting diarrhea when we give them the powder. The individual that we bought our first batch of uh, lambs from actually told us about this, and then we ended up going back to it. We're like, oh, you know, we should do the milk replacer because it probably has more nutrients, but they grow just fine with this. They grow just fine with, if you give them this only, they'd be a barrel. Yeah. They, they gain weight pretty quick from it, and they grow not just round, round. they actually grow height too. So we've, we've never had issues with the nutrients from it, but we've definitely had issues with scours, and scours, like you know, no, Anything that gets diarrhea, it's going to dehydrate pretty quick, and especially when it's only eight pounds to ten pounds when it's born, it dehydrates really quick. Really so. How much is this? All whole thing. The whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. Not the dirt on the outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you and then you just give this milk like periodically, like this is the mix, and then yeah, so they'll get this uh, every week is a different amount mm -hmm. that they really drink. Per I see. But ultimately, we give them free range of it, and we. We will limit them to like what they're supposed to have if they're right. getting, like let's say they're supposed to have a quart of milk, mm -hmm. right? We might give them 40 ounces instead of 32, so right. they have a little extra. Hold out. So that'll last at least a week or so? And no, this will last oh. I told uh, you, I am two not, days we for usually one make a Really? Yeah, <laughs> okay. this one's already four weeks old, and I see. she's already getting past the point. Like they're drinking 
They'll drink that half gallon that we put out for them when we had the two bottle babies. We're down to one now because we one and was left all this? last night. All yeah. that. Yep. It should all fit. It should fit. And then, uh, so it and being it cold like this, it gives them free range to eat. Right. However right. However much they want, because they'll <laughs> limit themselves as they get cold, they'll stop drinking. I see. So you'll you'll huh. see them drink this, and then they'll go sit in the corner and shiver for a few. Right. And then they'll get back up, and they might drink some more. They might go play and huh. drink some more. It's a, right. a good way to regulate it. And then plus that jug. So this is the container we use to feed them. So their their bucket broke down. We don't have to bottle feed them. That is an amazing thing. What are you feeding? It two years ago we had 13 bottle babies at one time yeah. i was getting up at like 3 30 in the morning before i had to go to work and bottle feeding all 13 of them well, that's my what hands. So holy cow my father-in-law bought us some bucket calves a couple yeah. of last winter yep. and i thought oh they're cute i love babies two of them two of them's okay eight of them was a bit much for me to try and because right. i bottle feed all of them i don't have a handy bucket like that yeah. i just so i got really good at being able to bottle feed like mm -hmm. three or four at a time oh yeah so our neighbors you learn they Come here, come here, quit. Right or no? Going the wrong way, Doc. <laughs> come here. There's new people. Okay. I don't know what to do. She won't be. Oh my goodness. There she goes. Who did? All of them when we were putting the salt up down. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You don't just make it. Look at that little one. Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's go. Go this way. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. I think your instincts There you go. Yeah. He can go that way. I can't believe how small they are. They're so little. Yep. <laughs> we had a lot of them. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I should grab the computer. Hello. Can you grab the computer? Oh my goodness. I'll just drop my phone now. Yeah, but I've got the numbers. Oh my god, now I want cheese. The numbers are <laughs> They're so little. That's it. Even so, if she runs me over, I won't get hurt. Her triple. <laughs> so the white one is even bigger than the black one. Quick. So she had like small, medium, and large babies. Yeah. But she was a really good mom. She cleaned them all both up. But we've never had good luck with triplets. Yeah. We, we've consistently had, like, they'll take care of them really good for like four days. And then all of a sudden you go out there and you got a baby that's freezing to death. And you're like, who's your mom? And then you go get the mom and the mom pushes her away. And we're like, just, it doesn't, it seems like it just doesn't ever work. Yeah. And I don't know if it's between, you know, they only have two teeth. 
I don't right. know if it's just a combination of that yep. or just mom's like, hey, I just only have two, so go away. Right. We've seen people that have four that go. mom takes care of them, but they're also pinned up the whole time. Yep. And I, we hate same way with calves. I mean, even if you have twins, you're better off. You're better off to pull one, pull one. Yeah. And, yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. But we usually pull the smallest one. But since the biggest one was a ram, and he ended up getting to be a bottle baby yesterday. Right. He's gonna live a really good life though, because he'll be a. Pet. So do you like keep your your you your, your little you lamps and the you lamps? The you lamps will stay for now. Yeah, and then we just change rams every year. Mm-hmm. Um, the once we get to 350 ewes. At that point, we're going to get. We won't, we won't keep any more use unless we're replacing old ones. Right. And everybody will get some. Right. That's kind of how what we are with ours, too. Like, we, we keep all our heifers back and then we yeah. make that decision later well, on. Well, and like, some people, oh, well, you know, because, like, Betty doesn't shut off very well. Right. So, in the summertime, you can see this light brown hair was on her mm-hmm. the whole time. And it should shut off all the way. So it should look like these guys where they have no fluff oh, on their no back. Fluff. Now, come springtime, they'll have some fluff. And you know they'll rub on the fence, they'll do whatever rub trees to get it off. And a lot of people are like, oh, you should just comb them right away. But, you know, the thing is, is, like if they're making babies right now, that's it. Until I grow to where I want to be, then right? I can start saying, all right, I'm that's put them here. We, that's we the same thing. yeah, with older cows. Yeah. So the so. only like, we had number thirty, the one that produced the bottle babies over here. She wore away, but she had mastitis inside of her uh, mm-hmm. udder, so there's it's scar tissue is blocking right. the milk from flowing. We've got a cow like that. So is that one there? That one there's got triplets, or not? No, she just got yeah. yeah, following her. Yeah, the only triplets were Betty so far. Yep, yep. Everybody else has been really healthy singles or good sized twins. Do you have to worry about them um, snagging moms? Like, do moms steal, they will. or do babies steal more than moms? I say they will, but for the most part, if most of the time, like if I were to bring two other babies, she would just keep pushing away. Mm-hmm. She don't want to feed. But if if the timing is just right, and let's say that they both had babies, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is possible. Stop yelling. Yeah. 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 She like shrunk up and then got yeah. 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 Quit. Yeah. So that's, I said that's the easiest way to do it. Yep. No, I don't have Betty in here. Betty was one of the first ones born yesterday. Some of them try to, like TJ, right here, the, the bottle baby. Oh, the bottle baby. Her baby actually was doing the same thing. And no, they shouldn't do it, but they have. I don't know if they were, like, if they were doing it constantly. <laughs> So, I'll show you on the first one. Okay. For the most part. So, that right down the center of your ear. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. You can't see it on her skin either. Well, anyways, right down the center of their ear, there's a vein. So, you don't want to be in the direct center. You just want to be just slightly either off to the front or back. Of the and then we always want to put it in their ear. Or their. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep. That's how we do ours, too. I don't know how to do that part. Yeah. We're also trying to point this down. Okay. When it points up, it seems like you're catching a lot of things. That's it. All done. It's not bleeding. Okay. Yep. Here, here, you can go back to your nugget. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're a lot bigger. Yeah, it's still a little bit. So the trip, the, so the, the other, other one was bigger. bigger. They went from like small, medium, and large and large. Yeah. Man! I don't know how to pull it off, but she yeah. did it, so. Huh. By the way, I think we skipped 280. Didn't we have? Like, I mean, we lost the tag or something, because I never tagged somebody at 280. I never tagged anyone. And last year's records weren't very good, so. 
<laughs> I never get to be the tagger. I'm always the holder. Yeah, she's. I'm like, okay, sit so, on that cat. Yeah, I have to sit on the cat. Oh, wait. You gotta point down. down? You gotta point, no, point the point down. The right? Rest? Yep, there you go. Like that. Hey. Because if we point it out, hey, okay. they like to catch on the fence. Like, you're gonna mm -hmm. see a couple out here when we go to tag moms that don't have the tag anymore because they kind of rip it out. If it's pointing down, it's less likely to catch on anymore. So you see the center. Yeah. Right? So either side of it. Doesn't like right there? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Worst case scenario, if you catch the center. Oh, oh my goodness, that's a right release. Right? Pull it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But worst case scenario, if you do catch the center, yeah. it'll bleed a little bit and we'll just throw some iodine on it. Actually, I'm going to throw the iodine in there. Just warm it up real quick. Just in case. Yeah, normally I'm the one that has to. You guys can keep going. Uh, typically, I have to lay on the, the cow, yeah. and I, the, the cow is breathing down my back. And Jason's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I'm always like, don't look at the cow. She won't look at you. You don't look at her. So. Yeah. I've had some close encounters. Yeah. 77 acres. Most of Lance's 200 acres. All of Keevan's 240 acres. Yeah. Yeah. been visiting with Travis and Chrissy and seeing all their sheep so we tagged about 35 babies that were born in the last I don't know 24 36 hours way 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 different than tagging calves that is for sure um now I need one sheep anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure with us I'm really learning a lot and I'm excited to have Travis and Chrissy come down I about fell down <laughs> um, I'm excited to have them come to the farm during hay season. Uh, Are you having fun? <laughs> it's a little, a little bit different than tagging calves. That's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you'd have to work, huh, Jason? Are you having a good trip? You like snow? Yeah, he loves snow. Yeah, you love snow. Ooh, too many dogs that don't like it. Yeah. Like I said, we have a, I have the plastic caps that I'll cut the hole in and I'll set it in there. For this. I hope you guys liked our change of scenery for the day, visiting Chrissy and Travis at Freedom Farms. I know I had so much fun playing with the baby lambs. I may have to talk to Jason about getting a couple. You think he'll go for it? Probably not, but uh, maybe someday we could integrate that into the farming. Um, they are gonna come visit us during the summer, so I'm really excited about hosting them and showing them what we do and the cows and the rotational grazing. And of course, hey, um, it's always fun to collaborate and team up and meet with new people and um, express ideas and get a whole new outlook. So that's kind of what we did this afternoon was just chit chat at the kitchen table. Um, we ate some really awesome chili and cornbread. And it was just, it was nice to get off the farm and talk farm with other farmers. Yeah. 
So we're gonna head on home. It's been a long, um, long day and I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm ready to be home. She turned Siri off. She wasn't very happy that we weren't on. It's a day of all the pins. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. We're taking a joyride now. <laughs>